All right, listen, indirect objects can be kind of tricky and we can't even talk about them before referencing direct objects first. Just a refresher, a direct object is a word that receives the action of the verb. There's probably a link around here somewhere if you wanna check that video out, but back to indirect objects. So the indirect object receives the direct object. And while the direct object answers the question what or who, the indirect object answers to who, for who, or to what. Your eyes are glazing over, aren't they? I have some good news for you. You can forget everything I just said, really. All we need to do is check out this sentence and you'll see how it is really not as complicated as it sounds. Ready? Bob gave. So let's add to this. Bob gave what? We're going to add a direct object. Bob gave a gift. Now, if we take it one step further, we're introducing the indirect object. Who is getting the direct object? Bill. Now you can also flip the order of the direct object and indirect object, and that is okay. All right, now let's expand on this and get a little more meat to our sentence. Before the latest show, Corey freaking Taylor told Jim the Phantom Root a story about the time when he went to Iowa and was stampeded by a mob of screaming fans along with some of their mothers, which made Jim laugh hysterically. So I made this sentence extra long on purpose. Details are great, they make sentences more interesting, but most of this we don't even need. So let's sort through all the fluff and find the four parts that we really need here. The subject, Corey. The verb, told. So what did Corey tell? Did he tell Jim or did he tell a story? He told a story to Jim. So story is the direct object and Jim is receiving the story. So Jim is the indirect object. All right, are you ready for some lyrics now? Let's try our first song from Stone Sour. Take a look at this section of orchids and see if you can find the indirect object, which also means you have to find the direct object first. It's a two-parter this time. Good luck. Uh, hey, Corey, we're ready for the answer. So we really only need the first four words of this line. Subject is you, verb is feed. You feed what? You feed orchids. And who gets the orchids? Me. So orchids is the direct object. Me is the indirect object. How did you do? Did you get this one? Or did you mix up the direct object and indirect object? If you did, blame it on the verb feed. It would seem like me is the direct object because you feed what? You feed me. But actually, if you think of this as gave, you gave me orchids. You don't give me, you're not giving me as a gift to someone. You're giving orchids to me. So me, indirect object, it's receiving the direct object. All right, let's move on to our second example. Let's take a look at this section of March of the Pigs by Nine Inch Nails. Can you find the indirect object in this example? Okay, Trent, I think we need you. What's the answer, please? So, did you get this one right? This example is very similar to the orchids example. It's the whole idea of giving something to someone. So our subject is I, the verb is give. What did I give? I did not give you, I gave all. So all is the direct object and who gets all? You, you is the indirect object. If you got this one right, congrats, give yourself a point. Up to this point, all of the bands in these videos have been featured on the channel before, but I had to stray away a little bit in order to find an example that doesn't use give as the verb. So let's take a look at Blow Me Away from Breaking Benjamin. See if you can find the indirect object. So 
So let's see if you got this one right. All right, Ben, you're on. This example is making us think a little bit harder because we don't have a subject here that we can see. The subject here is implied. The subject would be you. So what Ben is saying, essentially, you show me the way. So looking past that, the verb here is show. So then to find the direct object, show what? You don't show me, you show the way. You're showing the way to me. So the way, direct object, me, indirect object. Did you get this one? If you did, that's one more point for you. Let's count them up. And there you have it, indirect objects, a maximum score of three. All right, let's see, three points. Remember that band you used to love? Well, guess what? They're getting back together. And they sound awesome, by the way. Two points. The band is getting back together, but they have a new lead singer. And he's trying, but it's just not the same. One point. The band is back together, but they kind of suck now. A huge thank you to our bands, Stone Sour, Nine Inch Nails, and Breaking Benjamin for giving us some indirect object examples today. And a special thank you to you for watching. So until next time, make sure your subjects and verbs are in agreement. Remember that your doesn't automatically mean you are and always use the Oxford comma. Bye everyone.